while building the complex power to make cloud flow for any business requirement citizen developer or maybe the normal developer might be interested to seeing the code that has been generated while they building their automation using the drag and dropping of the power to make cloud flow design experience hey everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classic power app in this video we will see how we can get the code of our power to make cloud flow and how we can edit that code not using the design experience but using the visual studio and then we will see how we can get its change reflect back on our design experience so i'm just taking to one of my cloud flow that i have created for this particular example here i have created one cloud flow which is triggering from a click of any button i have a variable that is description type of string and my name is prashant and the third action it is simply sending that inside some email okay so let's say if you are interested to see the code behind any action you can directly click on this three dot and then see the p code but suppose you want to edit it or update it directly from the code so can you do this if you try you can't do anything it says that cannot add it in a read only editor so how you can do this you will go back one more back okay need not to go now you have this export export this flow inside the zip file it will prepare the zip for you just pass the some details let's say test two three okay two. and then how you want it to import once you are ready with the changes in the code create a new and then export it will prepare the zip file for you and now i can download this file it's downloaded okay already okay now i'll simply open this file from here i clicked i guess okay now i have opened that zip file which is downloaded to my system it is the package of my cloud flow this zip file contains two items one is a manifest json and another one is a microsoft.flow i'll open this one inside this flows i have this particular is my flow id i'll go inside this and then i have three json files api map connection map and definition.json so i'm interested on the definition.json i'll try to open this file what is there in this file you need to choose your editor i have used visual studio as my default editor and then i can see some line of code here so let me try to do some formatting here select all and then format document now i can see a small code what this code is this code is nothing it's just a code that is written behind my automation which i built using the designer experience simply by dragging and dropping of the actions and passing the parametric values to those actions so here you can see these are some initial stuffs and then you have this trigger these are the details about your trigger it's a manual type kind is type of button and then you in the actions data you can see you have first action is initialize variable and the second action is send an email and these are the inputs that we have passed for this one and even for this send an email you can see you have one more action that is run after 
so this send an email will work after the initialized variable gets succeeded so if you change this to fail then it will consider this particular action to be executed once the initialized variable get failed so i'm not touching this for now i just want to update some of its parametric values and then we'll see what happen so i'll say my name is prashant choudhary and i am recording the code of power automate flow i want this to be type of a string only here i have enough control on myself whatever i want to do i can do anything so let's say i want to change this description to description 1 okay now i'll go down and then it's let it put type of a string only and send an email v3 i have this option so this one is my send an email it will run once my initialized variable gets succeeded and then submit data and here are the input parameters okay so i can see request to like to whom this mail will go this is the mail id of mine this is a subject line so i can change this to custom subject my my custom subject and in the request text this is nothing just the body of my send an email section so i can see i have an added one variable here that whose name is description but now i have changed the name of this variable so i need to update this also i'll do this cont one and then everything is remains the same this is my updated body so i'm just changing the input parametric values from the code not from the design experience i can do that from there also but for now i'm doing this from here the reason behind that is let's take example your flow is having around hundreds of actions and you need to update a single value at 100 places so in design experience you need to go to each and every step and then need to change this the another approach is simply take the export of this and then in open that in the visual studio do some replacing of some text and then again import back to your environment the same flow so i have changed this control s okay so this is in my read only mode okay so what i'll do i'll simply do the save as of this and then i will save this to from now i will save this to my desktop save and then i'll go back here and then i'll remove this from here i'll delete this delete and then get my file which i just saved on the desktop from where is my file tick 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 definition dot json i simply control x go back open this one and then i'll paste it here so now this particular file no, got it okay now this particular file is my updated json if i try to see this i can see that this particular one is updated yes okay now what i'll do i'll simply go back to my environment and then i'll simply take the import of the same file import package right now you have seen that while clicking on this import two options are there one belongs to the solution the data solution and the belongs to the zip file of your flow 
because once you export the solution that again it's in the zip file so this one belongs to the flow so i'll click on this test 2 maybe i have modified this right now 12 yeah this one only open will take some time to read this file understand what is there in this file and then it'll give you the options so as i exported it that i want to create the new flow so that's the reason it is giving me the new so i'll say new or if you want to update the existing you can do that too okay but for now i'm just creating the new one mail and then hit on this import meanwhile i open the previous flow also for your reference and this one is our new flow okay this one was our previous flow it is importing and it will take my one or two minutes so i'm just pause. no we need not to pause this so it has imported successfully now we can open this flow It is opening the experience so i want to go to the classic one only you can check your things from here also if you click on this you can see here or you can go to the classic experience and then you can check these files here here you can see the things has changed previous things was like that the new is like that if i open that this this one here you can see this is my updated body very value is this one and our previous one, one was like that okay so that's how you have seen how we can get the source code of our powerpoint flow how we can edit it and how we can import it back i am again repeating myself the perfect use for this one is whenever you need to update a single value and that single value is utilized at so many places in your cloud flow and that your and your cloud flow is so complex so in that case you just need to export that change that value from the visual studio from the code directly and then re-import it back to your environment that's how it will work so thank you all thank you for watching this video everyone so have a nice day